Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as I can. And this morning, it's very, very early. It's, um, it's about 10 to 6 in the morning. And I'm just sitting outside the car boot sale that I go to, waiting for it to open. It opens in about, well, it opens at 6. Um, and I just wanted to take this few minutes before I go in to talk a bit about um, the second-hand economy. I don't know what else to call it, really. I was trying to think of what, what is this thing <laughs> that I'm thinking about. Um, and I suppose it's about buying things and selling things second-hand. Um, and how that helps you live life if you're on a really small budget. So I want to give you an example. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I bought a coffee table for five pounds and I sold that for 35 pounds. And I took 15 pounds of that money and bought a uh, second-hand instant pot practically new in its box barely been used they said it had been used once and I could believe that it was immaculate um, and I sold that for 40 um, and then I used that 40 to buy us uh, to buy me and Sam a uh, mitre saw in fact it cost 30 pounds so I used 30 pounds of that to buy Sam and I a mitre saw um, which I'm using to chop up the firewood at home Hooray! it's so much easier with a saw with an electric saw so far I've been doing it either with a hand saw or um, we do have a like a electric saw but it's really difficult to use it's quite heavy to hold and I find it very difficult so this one is um, much much easier to use um, so there's this trail of things where I've bought something cheaply and sold it for more made some money and at the end of that trail I've been left with um, 27 pounds profit um, I, do, I think I was something out actually. I also picked up a little cabinet for free and sold that for £12, which was very cheap, but I wanted to move it on quickly because we don't have a lot of storage space at home. Um, so the long shot, long shot of that is I started with £5 and I've, at the end of this little process I've got... a uh, electric mitre saw and £27 in my pocket. Um, other people have bought things from me cheaply. I don't, I'm not greedy with my prices. Um, I usually uh, look at what something's worth and take a bit off and then I'm willing to haggle as well So and drop prices. So there's this process of buying and selling which enables us to effectively have buy things that with additional money that we wouldn't have normally had that in my mind I like to think well then that mitre saw is free because I've used that fiver made some money bought something we need and I've still got a little bit of money in my pocket um, and I've been doing this for years. It's how we got through the early days with the kids when they were young. Um, I would buy something for a couple of quid, sell it for a tenner, use that tenner to buy something else, maybe make £30 on the next thing. Um, and I would use that either to make sure that we had things that we needed as a family um, effectively in my mind they were free because I don't that money doing other things buying and selling other things or I would use it to make money to buy things um, new or second-hand that we needed and 
I'm not on my own. A lot of people do this. And it's a really great way of making your money go further and further. Everybody gets a good deal along the way. And um, it's a, you, you have that way of living life and buying things that you need um, that costs you very, very little. It, what it costs you is your time and effort. Um, but if you're willing to work and um, put some time and effort in, it's a possible, you know, it's a possible thing to live very, very cheaply in, in that sense. Um, I wish I could do that with my gas and electricity bills. <laughs> and somehow I managed to um, buy and sell things to get free electricity. <laughs> Obviously, I do buy and sell things. That's why I'm here at the car boot sale. I do buy and sell them as part of my income, so I kind of do pay for um, gas and electricity that way, but you know what I mean. So oh, I'm just looking across the way. There's a house with two windows downstairs, and each window has a cat sitting in it. <laughs> just looking out of the world. They're really cute. Just notice them. Easily distracted by cats, you see. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. It's been part of how we've lived our lives and for a long time and made life more affordable and still had the things that we needed or wanted. They don't need a mitre saw, but boy, it's making a big difference to the amount of effort and time I have to put into cutting wood. So, thank you very much for watching. It's starting to get a bit busier here now. I can see people pulling into the car park and um, it's almost time to go into the car boot sale. So, I'm going to head off, see what else I can buy cheaply to sell. How much is your light? How much is your shirt? Um, Hi. Okay. Yeah, I'll have that. That one's a bit more, a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I dare carry more than one fragile glass thing, to be honest, at one point. But I'll take this one. I'm just, I'm just going to have a look at the rest of your stuff as well. Um. condiments tray, you know, to put your sauces in. Oh, yeah. Oops. So it's much later in the day and I'm back at home and I thought I'd just show you a couple of the things that I bought. Um, it wasn't as busy at the car boot today as it has been but um, it's their last one next weekend which seems quite early but um, there'll be other ones that I can go to. Um, I do like that one though. <laughs> Um, so I'll show you a couple of things I made, but first of all I just wanted to mention that I bumped into Joe who has a channel called The Spectrum Flipper 
Um, he goes regularly to that same car boot sale and tends to buy um, toys to resell. And he's got a YouTube channel and um, I just wanted to give him a hi. I took a selfie, I'll show you now. So if you're interested in reselling, watching car boot sale videos, um, hop along and go and have a look at his channel and you can play Where's Wally or Waldo or Where's Tess because in a few of his videos you see me in the background wandering around gormlessly looking at things <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning or whatever ridiculous time it is. So I'll put a link to his channel below anyway and um, yeah pop along and have a look if that kind of thing interests you. So I'm just looking down here because I've got a couple of things I wanted to show you. Um, so I did, like I said, I didn't pick up a lot. Well, I did probably pick up quite a bit, <laughs> but not as much as usual. Um, but I'm really happy with the things I've got. I feel like I've got some really nice quality items. And the first one I want to show you is this coffee percolator, which is from around the 1950s. It's got a Bakelite handle, Bakelite knob on the top. It's still got its original electrical lead and I've just taken this out because I'm going to give it a really good clean and the insides are all still there. Um, and I've just plugged it in and it started to heat up. I had to turn it off quickly because there was no water in it. <laughs> but that's by Swan, Swan brand. Um, so I'm really pleased with that and once I've got it really clean I'm going to make some a coffee in it. <laughs> Um, but I'm very happy with that. And the other thing I got that I particularly like is this 1950s glass light shade. So it's kind of ridged glass at the bottom, plain at the top, it's really dirty at the top. But then it's got this gorgeous 1950s design all the way around it. I hope you can see that. It's a bit tricky to show because it's quite faint. It looks, it's easier to see in real life rather than on the screen. That looks quite clear actually. I absolutely love this and it's huge. And I wasn't going to buy big things this week. I was going to purposefully buy small things. I've got something else to show you. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. I love this, but I am going to sell it. So it's this lovely toadstool light fitting. Uh, with toadstools at the bottom. It's a table lamp. Toadstools at the bottom and a little pixie or a fairy on that one. And then this one lights up. I'll plug it in and show you. It's even got a bulb in it. I think this is just oh, gorgeous. And then so the glass is all kind of speckly. I think that's just lovely. So although I haven't bought loads and loads of things, I have bought a lot more than I've just shown you. <laughs> but um, they're my favourites, I would say. Um, although I haven't bought loads and loads of things, I feel like I've got some good quality things today. And I'm really happy with that. And because it was quieter, I went to a second car boot sale and that's where I found this per coffee percolator. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, and from the same person, I bought a 1970s electric kettle in red in its box. Although really, really dirty. So I'll have to give that a good clean. It's always part of the process when I come back. I always have things that need a right good clean. So that's my job for the next hour or so. I'm going to clear the draining board of clean pots and then fill the sink up with water and give things that need a clean a really good clean. So today's video has been a bit of a mix of um, thinking about the second hand market I suppose and a bit of a car boot sale visit and a little bit of a car boot haul. But this is how I make my living. Um, this and YouTube now. I have a bit of income from YouTube. 
So it's it's really nice to be able to show you what I find because I come home and I'm really excited. <laughs> Look what I found! And I don't get much response. The, um, Sam, oh, there's a cat climbing up my back. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, hello, Jinx. <laughs> she just puts so claws in and climbs right up my back. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope this has been interesting. Oh yeah, that's it. I bring the things home and I'm, I say to Sam, oh, look what I got. Oh, and I got this, and I got this. And he watches, he looks very patiently, but he's really not interested. So it's kind of nice to share a little bit with you. <laughs> okay, me and my parrot are off. And um, I'll see you all again really soon. Take care now. Bye for now.